Greetings Multiverse, and welcome to this Injustice 2 trailer reaction. Yes, another one, but we're getting very close now, so it should hopefully be one of the last, where three DLC fighters have been revealed. I don't know who they are as of yet, but I'm going to find out very shortly. This is quite a quick trailer, but after the reactions we'll have full commentary on what I think of them, and what this means for future DLC characters. Let's get on with it. <laughs> I'm excited to find out. Dramatic. Is that a bow and arrow? Hammer Dr. Fate. Ooh. Trident. Ice. Icy character. Is that Starfire? Is that Red Hood? It's Rat. Oh wow, she looks awesome. <laughs> Wait. Sub Zero? Sub Zero already? Oh, oh, he looks awesome! Oh, that. Oh, wow, well, that was a very short and to the point trailer. <laughs> Sorry for me punching my. Oh! Oh, awesome. Wow! Oh! So, Starfire, Red Hood, and Sub Zero have been revealed as the first three DLC characters. That's in. Incredible. I mean, Starfire and Red Hood were hugely teased. They were hugely wanted by the entire community. I did a video for the other website I work for called GameWatcher.com. Check out their videos. Unjustice 2, why it's coming to PC, and I had a full list of DLC characters that I wanted to see. And Starfire was right there and number one for the heroes. So I'm very excited to see her. She looks great. She really does. They, all three of them look amazing, I have to say. That's that's the first thing I want to say. Starfire, <laughs> Princess Coriander of Tamaran. Yes, brilliant. She's a great character. <laughs> She's very sexed up there. <laughs> but I'm fine with that. <laughs> I don't mind. She's a superb character. Anyone who loves her from the Teen Titans show in particular will love this inclusion. But even in comics, she's just a great character when she's done properly. When she's done properly, she is great. She's one of the best female characters in comics, in my opinion. Red Hood, yes. Jason Todd, superb. Very, very glad to see him. He also looks awesome. He looks very close to his current comics incarnation. And I'm, I'm trying to think of how uh, his situation in the Injustice universe is right now. I cannot remember if he ever turned up in the Injustice comic. Um, <laughs> but the thing about the DLC characters is they don't have to be part of the storyline in any way. Which brings me to the third character reveal there, Sub-Zero. What the flip? <laughs> I wish I'd done my DLC predictions because all three of these characters would have been on that DLC predictions video. I'm still going to do another one but obviously cut down a little bit by three characters. <laughs> Sub-Zero was going to be my choice for a Mortal Kombat character coming over. Him and Scorpion are just yin and yang. They're, bit, they're the main two faces of the Mortal Kombat universe. And Scorpion was, of course, in Injustice. So Sub-Zero in Injustice 2 was sort of a no-brainer. But I did not expect him in the first DLC announcement. I expected him to be the very last. <laughs> Why is he announced now? <laughs> Why are you bringing in Mortal Kombat characters already? You've got, what was it, 8, 9, 10 DLC characters to announce, which is brilliant. Why is he not the last one, or just second to last, or something? Why are you announcing him straight away? But he's almost certainly not going to be part of Injustice 2 storyline, which means, unfortunately, Starfire and Red Hood are probably not part of the storyline too. And I don't think even Darkseid will be part of the storyline. Which is a shame in a way, but also means they get to tell a good story and just have these fun characters separate. Then again, Reverse Flash seems to be part of the story in Injustice 2, and he's just merely a skin for Flash. So maybe, I don't know, I, I, with Sub-Zero on it, I kind of hope not, because <laughs> that'll get shades of Mortal Kombat vs DC Universe, which none of us wants to remember. Alpha, Red Hood, and Sub-Zero have been announced for Injustice 2. My mind's just blown. <laughs> uh, but yes, Subscribe to DC Comics Gamer for more Injustice 2 videos and daily DC Comics videos. Leave a like below and a comment and I'll definitely answer it. And check out all our other videos on Injustice 2 and we'll have a lot more coming soon with the game launching in just two weeks time. And just one week's time 
before the mobile version. We have several videos up on the pre-release of the mobile version, so you'll see plenty of gameplay. We've got at least one more coming before the iOS release, so check them out, including one where we revealed the Arkham Knight skin for Batman, which will almost certainly turn up in the console version. If it's in the iOS version, it will definitely be in the console version. That's cool. Catch you later, guys.